This is the life cycle of the Northern Royal Albatross in less than two minutes. I hope you can keep up. Let's go. Okay, so you're a Northern Royal Albatross. You're a baby, you're really small, you can't do anything. Then, wow, look at that, it's about eight months later and you're big. You're heavier than your parents, but you still don't actually know how to fly, so let's learn how to fly. Cool, you've learned how to fly. Now that you can fly, you can say see you later to the land and head out to spend about five years out at sea. You fly from New Zealand all the way across the Pacific to South America. You land on the water to eat food and sleep. You don't touch land at all. And the only other time that you see other albatrosses is when they're feeding in the same spots as you. Wow, the ocean. You're a real mariner now, young albatross, but oh, what's that? It's albatross puberty. Suddenly you feel lonely, you feel like you need love, so you decide to head back home. Wow, look at that, you flew across the Pacific again and now you're home. You spend summer flirting with all the other single albatross, then you get bored and you leave back to South America for winter. Then you come back next summer. Oh, you found someone you really like, but then summer is over and you go back to South America, then you come back next summer. That albatross you really like, you play house with them a little bit. You realize you love them and you want to start a family together, then you go back to South America. Then you come back next summer and you get down to business. Are you a male or a female albatross? If you're a female, you're spending a lot of time in nearby waters, feeding and getting enough nutrients to create an egg. If you're a male, you're spending most of your time establishing a territory and building a nest. You make love with your partner as much as possible to make sure that egg is fertilized. Oh look, there's an egg now. You share incubation with your partner, so one of you is always with the egg and one of you is always out at sea feeding and you periodically switch places. Oh look, the egg hatched, now you've got a baby. Now one of you is out at sea while the other one is here looking after the baby and you periodically switch and feed the baby by regurgitating out semi-digested squid. Oh look, the baby is so big now that it doesn't need you here looking after it all the time. Now both of you spend your time feeding offshore, only coming back periodically to feed your baby and then quickly leaving again. Well, look at you, your baby grew up and flew away. That's been a tough year. You go back to South America and take a year off. Then after your vacation, you come back home and do the same breeding cycle all over again and that is your life life as an albatross. If your partner dies, you go back and join the single albatross and spend a few years trying to find a mate, and you'll keep repeating this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again until one day you die, and that's the life cycle of the Northern Royal Albatross in less than two minutes.